Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy and it is Saturday morning about 6.20 a.m. and yes, I am heading to the beach for my therapy for the week. In some ways, my weeks go by fast, but then when I think about what I did last weekend, it seems like, was that just last weekend? Because it seems like a really long time ago. And it's kind of neat that I can look at my YouTube channel and I can see what I've done and how I progress. So that's that's one reason I've done it is it, it gives me a, a vlog basically of my life and my journey. So that's kind of cool. And a place to store all the videos, right? So people are doing at 6 20 on a Saturday morning anyway heading to I think this is the same did I go to this beach last Saturday morning I believe I did I think that's when I went to that beach and it was a full moon and there were so many people there and then I went to the preserves that afternoon after I went home and took a nap. Was that last Saturday? Man, it seems like a month ago sometimes. Well, I've got one more week. And then spring break. So, um, excited about that. My sister is coming in this week. She'll be here for a few days. So we won't be able to do much because I won't have a day with her. Um, because I'll be working. And then I have a dentist appointment Thursday after right after school. So I have to get a, I just have to bite the bullet and get this tooth capped because if I don't, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose more of it and then they'll have to do a root canal. Well, I think if it gets infected down there, we'll have to do a root canal Right now it's just a build up and capping it, but um, that's still expensive, even with insurance, even with insurance. So I just, I just have to do it. I, I you know, it's what's frustrating is you just, when I think that I can finally, okay, I can finally put some money aside or pay more on a bill and get that paid off. No, 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 you can't. <laughs> no, you can't because I've got this tooth. And even if it wasn't for the tooth, I need to get glasses. So at some point I need to do that. Um, I think that's, as far as medical stuff, I think that's it for now. So hopefully after I get this tooth fixed, nothing else is gonna happen. I don't think the glasses are going to be too bad, but I am going to get scratch resistant lenses. The last time I got glasses, I did not do that because of cost. And guess what? My lenses are all scratched. As a matter of fact, these are my old glasses. These are probably about 10 years old or more. I think I had these when I was married. So, um, yeah, that was a long time ago. So in between that, I've gotten one new pair of glasses and I didn't get scratch resistant and so I can't wear them, can't see through. So anyway, but anyway, how y'all doing? How's your week going? I hope it's going okay. Um, I don't know what we'll find today. And it's really not about that. It's about just going and finding something and part of me said just don't go you know but then that other part of me says no you have to go so why do I have to go I don't have to go but there's something that compels me to go I don't know you know it's something inside me I go to sleep in I don't sleep in at all anymore really but here I am going to the beach Obviously, it brings me joy. <laughs> so, 
that's why you keep doing something, right? According to Dr. Phil, there's a payoff, right? Or we wouldn't do it. Not that I agree with him. Because if that were true, I would stick to a diet. Because the payoff is being healthy and I would feel better about myself. I would have more confidence. Um, yeah, so why wouldn't I? Because the payoff would be wonderful. And so you think, okay, so not losing weight it's not a good payoff. It's not a good payoff at all. It's negative. So sometimes I don't agree with that. Because I guess what he believes is, or what he says is, you wouldn't do what you do unless there's a good payoff for you. I don't believe that all the time. But I do believe in going to the beach. It gives me a good payoff. I enjoy it. I believe it's like therapy for me. And... That's why I go. So, all right. Well, I'm going to stop chatting. I could chat the whole way to the beach. It kind of helps keep me awake. But um, I'm sure that kind of gets boring. And I want to have room to put the, some beach footage of what we see out there. I'm not going the exact same location of the beach that I went to. I'm going to go further south just to hit a different spot this time. I don't really walk as much at this spot, so I don't plan on staying as long as I usually do, so we'll see. All right. I hope you all are finding joy, and I hope things are going okay for you. So, we'll talk to you later. Here we go. There's only one car park down here. At first, when I was coming down here, I thought, oh my goodness, what if the gate's not open? Because you have to go through a gate with this one to get to this beach. So, it was open. They may have just opened it. But, so it's getting light. I do see a couple people down here already. So, we'll see. I don't expect to have the beach to myself. <laughs> and everybody walks a different path when you're looking for shells. And what I've learned is everybody is looking for something different. So, you know, you just never know. It is nice and quiet though. Wow really nice. So there's not really a low tide this morning. Um, I forget when it was, but it was early, early, maybe at 3 a.m. And then there's going to be a high tide later today. And that's basically it. Usually, a lot of times, there's two, two low tides and two high tides during the day. But today, it was just showing one of each. So, I don't know. Don't know what that's all about. I haven't studied tides to know much about that. So, so I call this kind of like the corner. This is kind of where the beach will end and then you have to round it and it will go into the bay. Okay, so there's just like three people here. So a lot of people go to that other beach at the north side. There were several cars already parked there. So whether I find anything or not, I'm glad I came down here because a lot of times it's not always about what I find. Um, it's just about, I don't know. 
It's just about being here in the peace of it. The waves are very calm and we have rain coming in. It's not very windy. I wonder if that's a lot of shells over there. I can't tell. It's a little island of sand. And here's a nice shell line. Lots of shells. People have probably already gone through these. So there's this shore, this shell line right here. A lot of shells there and then there's another one here this is kind of where the water is the water is probably cold i don't know i want to get wet but it's very clear i can see right through it so i guess i can see if there was anything i wanted but I'm not sure about that little island right there. If that's all shells or just sand. dumped a bunch of shells here because there's like a huge pile. It looks like people have gone through it already. So I don't know when this happened, but people miss things, so I will still look.
Alright, I want to show you some of the treasures I found today at the beach. And one of the finds was this banded tulip. I don't find too many of these. And um, so it's nice to find one that's not occupied. So that was a good one. And then one I have never found before. And I always like to find what I've never found before. And that is a flat, a flat scallop. I've never found a flat scallop before, and it is a little chipped, but that's okay. Until I find a bunch of them, this is all I've got. So this is a flat scallop compared to, you know, the curved ones. So that was, that was a neat find. Um, I found some olives. I found a lot of olives. And some I kept, some I put back. So, that's a nice one. Nice lettered olive. And I did pick up scallops. I did pick up a couple of Florida, Florida fighting conch shells. Mostly because I have not been seeing them lately. So, yeah. So, I went ahead and picked them up. Um, of course, scallops. It's another olive. And a shark eye. And then every I started picking up these. Um, I don't know what these are called. But I can make flowers out of them. They're all over the place. So whenever I've been over, I thought, you know what? I'm just throwing some of these in there. Because you really need a lot to make flowers. And I did pick up some of these. This is kind of a different slipper snail than I usually see. It's kind of rough. Got some... Of these kitten paws. I don't see these very often much anymore. And I don't even have enough to make a flower right now. So. And some more olives. So. Not too bad. Nice. Here's a lightning milk. And I found some worms. Worms. Worm. I don't know. It's a worm shell. And augers. So, um, I like to get white scallops now because of the flowers. So these will help me make these the shell flowers. And I'm trying to get a collection of these to make some flowers as well. So that is what I found today.